everybody it's Chris from prepare my 101 I have a new light to show you today this is one that actually I had a bunch of people asking me to review before I, I myself even knew that it was coming out so of course once they said it was the new through night I'm like well, I generally get the new through nights to review anyway so we'll check that out when it gets here so this is the newest 18650 light that they have that is rechargeable and this is the through night TC 15 now at the time that I first got this light, I it was like a busy week or two. I, mean, there's, I had like a million things going on and my, just, my head wasn't there. So I got it out, I tested it, went outside, did what I always did. I didn't even look at the manual. I was just playing around with it. Went outside, turned on turbo, and I'm like, well this thing's getting pretty hot. You know, what's up with this? This thing messed up has it got a short or something in it I don't know but again I was distracted I had like a million things going on so after I checked it out uh, and got another one myself to to test finally all the all the chaos died down and I got a chance to actually sit down and, and look at the things that I was reviewing and I'm like well wait a minute this thing is what was I thinking this is like 2300 lumens on high no wonder it got warm Every other light that I've seen that is this size that has an option to push it that high, it's going to get hot quickly. It's something that you use when you absolutely freaking need it. And I'm going to explain that here in a minute. So I'm glad I, this was one of those lights where I'm glad I didn't do what I often do, which is because that's what I like is doing the first impressions. Because after I looked at this a little bit longer, got used to it took it out carried it for a while uh, yeah, I'm like I actually like this better than I would have if I had done that first impression video so if you want to find out more about this light what it has to offer and if this is one that you should look at or possibly look for a different one don't go away So this, this is the time of year where flashlights go even higher on the scale of EDC importance because we had that uh, fall back where we turned the clocks back and now it gets darker faster. So like six o'clock in the evening and it's like pitch freaking black outside. More of your time is spent in the dark than it is in the daylight. Ergo, flashlights are now almost as important as knives. That's why I tend to do more flashlight videos in the fall and in the winter. So th this one in particular, things that I like about this is this is one of those lights and there's th we've seen more and more of these where not everything has to be tactical. It does not have a rear tactical tail cap switch. So this is a general purpose everyday carry light. It has one switch, and it's up front, so it means you're going to hold it like this, not like this. I mean, you could. That's not saying you can't do it, but it's, the functionality is not intended for that. The user interface for this is pretty much the same as other ones, where it's going to be click for on, click for off. Hold it down from the off position, and that will take it into moonlight mode. Turn it on click to change mode so you're going to cycle through low medium and high at from any point be it on or off a fast double tap go we'll take it immediately into turbo so that's when you're going to get the the higher level of the 2300 lumens and then triple tap is going to take it into strobe so it's very easy uh, I've actually tested other lights in the recent past, which was like brands that I was unfamiliar with, and I didn't end up doing videos on them because it's just like the user interface to me was a freaking mess. It was a nightmare. I hated it. So I'm like, this, uni this, uni this user interface is about as easy as it gets. 
Now it does come with an IMR 18650, so it's put out the extra uh, power that it needs to get that uh, higher level. It does have a micro USB charge port. So if you do not have an external battery charger handy, maybe you're out camping, maybe you got to top off your battery with your anchor or with the, with the uh, car charger, then you're able to do it. The switch itself, if we does have the uh, battery indicator light in it so the different lights and uh, different colors let you know about how good the battery is uh, being that it is this size <clears throat> you're gonna have more of a general purpose size you know throw to flood ratio now talking again about the the, the hot part this is where we tend to always end up arguing with somebody in the comments because without a doubt someone always says it like well if it's able to go up that high you should be able to use it forever like just because it is able to go up to 2300 lumens you should be able to just walk around and use 2300 lumens all day every day and it never gets hot that's unrealistic that's just not how it works especially in something this size so high is more of the level of what turbo would normally be. And to me, that is a good thing. Turbo in this case is taking it above and beyond. So maybe you actually have to see something far away and light it up for just a minute. Or maybe you are getting charged by what if ninjas in the parking lot and they wanna ask you stupid questions. Uh, then you can actually just flash fry them all at once. But no, you don't need to have it on super ultra crazy high all the time. So we can't really say that it getting hot is that much of a downside because of course it does. The other one that I have, which is similar, I forget the exact lumen level but uh, I think it's the Olight H2R that I have. And it's mid 2000 to 3000, I forget. But uh, because it's also about this size frame, when you're in turbo, it gets hot quick. They're meant to be temporary uses. So let me quickly give you the specs on this and then we'll see what it looks like in the dark. And we got lucky. I've already filmed that portion of the video. Uh, it's not like that now. But a couple nights ago, we had the first snow of the season, and snow is the perfect time to test flashlights. So we got a really good shot of what it looks like in the dark because the ground was white. All right, so let's find out more about the specs. All right, running down the specs of the Thru-Night TC15, you've got a Cree XHP35 LED. The battery that it comes with is one IMR 3100 MAH 18650 that is included. Uh, it's got a smooth reflector, uh, aluminum body, aircraft. Why is this even a thing anymore? It's just like you just naturally we assume uh, if it's aluminum, someone's going to use the word aircraft. It's like, why do we care? All right, we're not going to fly on the back of this flashlight, so why even bring it up? It's aluminum. <laughs> premium type 3 hard anodized anti-abrasive finish that is the biggest uh, one of the biggest differences between through night and the sub brand WowTac is that type 3 hard anodized finish there is a big difference huge difference actually waterproof to IPX8 standard which I believe is 2 meters uh, output in runtime. so we have On Firefly mode, we are one lumen for 41.5 days. So you will not make it to 42 days. If, if you haven't made it out in 41 days, you're screwed. So I'm just letting you know. Motivate you to work harder. Low is 25 lumens for 68 hours. Medium, which is going to be the mode that you use the most, is 250 lumens, and that's 6.5 hours. High, which is going to be turbo on most lights, is going to be 
1050 lumens for 90 minutes so an hour and a half on what would normally be turbo but this has the extra super crazy mode of turbo which is 2300 lumens and then it drops down to 820 so it's going to do two minutes at 2300 lumens and that's not per charge that's at a time so if you leave that thing running for two minutes it's going to drop down but here's the thing i'm telling you it's going to be super hot before you get to two minutes um, and then once it drops down to 820 lumens, it's going to be 83 minutes. We already talked about the operation. You know, it's got a memory function, so it's going to go back to whatever mode you had it on last. So talking about the, <coughs> the battery indicator light. So right now it's blue. But when it's charging, that's going to be red. When it's fully charged, it's going to be blue. When it flashes purple, it means abnormal charging. It means you're doing something wrong. Uh, the only, when it's charging, only Firefly and low modes are available. So that means you can actually turn it on, Firefly and low mode, if you're charging it. So that's interesting. But overall, uh, it's very comparable to other through night lights that we've seen in the past. The fact that this has got all of the good features and it comes with the battery and it's rechargeable at the $49 price point that's a pretty good deal and the reason that they are able to do that is because through night does not sell to the middleman there's no distributors they sell direct to you and that's why this thing costs 50 and not 80 that's the big secret everybody should know that by now but it's a great ADC light. So let's take a look at it uh, in the dark with the snow. Well, I originally I was going to uh, post this video yesterday. Now I'm glad I didn't because you know, I, I don't honestly watch the weather all that much. Uh, but we've got our first, if you want to call it that, it's very wet. We got our first snow. And as all of you are well aware snow is the best time to test flashlights so right now this light is on low bump it up yes snow is that's the one good thing about winter for gear testers is snow and flashlights so low medium high Now we are going to double tap this to go to turbo. That is definitely bright. Tell you what, you know, like I, like I said before, with any of these 18650 lights that have a normal size uh, reflector, when you're running over 2,000 lumens, it's going to heat up quick. It's not such a bad thing when it's cold out. <laughs> it's a good way to uh, warm your digits up. If they start getting a little too cold. Just kick your light on turbo for a minute. So there it is. So overall, great light so far. Uh, I've said it a thousand times. I've been reviewing them since the early days, like the early, early days. And I've only ever had like two problems ever with a through night light and but I've had problems with every flashlight on demand because they're electronic items things happen but they are still one of my favorites because they give you a lot for the price and I'm using I've been using lights like this a lot more often lately and by this I mean they're not tactical they don't have tactical 
tail cap. I mean, because back in the day, and of course, there's still a market for that. There's still a reason for that. And it, it would matter greatly depending on where you live, what you do for work, uh, your environment and all that. But for me personally, where I, where I live and work and all that stuff, I don't need everything to be tactical. I don't live in a tactical freaking fantasy world. So a lot of times I'll just use the right, the light that does the most for me. You know, I have another one from another brand that I like that doesn't have a tactical tail cap switch on either. It's the one that's got the, the rotary dial on it. And other ones I have don't, do not have the tactical tail cap switch. And I like them just fine. Now, these lights, these buttons are more apt to being turned on in your pocket. So what I found is just not even an, not even an eighth of a turn, like barely turn that and it's very easy to lock out there might even be an actual lockout mode I don't know I know on on another light that I recently reviewed and then Will did his video he's like yeah this is the lockout mode I'm like yeah, I didn't know that I must have missed that part uh, for me lockout mode I like to keep it simple stupid and that's just barely tw twist the cap it's locked out you don't have to worry about it going off in your pocket. So if you want one of these and you are not required to buy one. So no whining. But if you do like it, uh, links are going to be in the description box below. Uh, primarily if you're in the U.S. and you want to go through Amazon, going through my store definitely helps out the channel. Uh, if you're not and you need to go through uh, Through Night's website where the price is going to be the same, I'll have the links to Through Night's website uh, along there as well. So that's all I got for right now. Chris from Prepared Mind 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. I will be back with another video here soon. So see you then.